Hello everyone, a really quick one for you today. I'm going to show you how you can organize your VST instruments and your VST effects. Now, Cubase, this is a really fresh install of Cubase. I think I installed it yesterday or the day before. But basically, when you install it, Cubase works out where it think well, it works out the file path and where it thinks best to port plugins and effects, so into which folders. Now, that's great, and it usually does quite a good job, but say you want um all your compressors that you use all the time in one place and you want them easy to find or you want your amp simulators anything like that and you want to speed up your workflow this is an ideal way to do that now I want to look at free amp simulators so I thought this would be a good lead on so if we look at this and then it'll be a good, the next video would lead on to this so if I um, just create in the left zone here I'm just going to create a mono audio track so I've right clicked and I've made a mono audio track now see I've got my inserts just here, so if I click on my inserts, I can see what Cubase has done. So it's put the, you know, it looks quite logical. But of course, if you got lots of plugins or lots of effects, um, you've installed third party, you know, free ones or bought ones. Sometimes this can start to get a little bit messy. Like if I go to my other instruments, you can see there's quite a few in here that perhaps I ought to have a better home for. So what we do is go to Studio. And then we're going to go to Plugin Manager. So it's Studio VST Plugin Manager. And this is what we get. So these are our plugins. These are the FX plugins. And these are VST instruments. Now this works exactly the same for VST instruments or your FX. One thing before we start this. If you've installed a plugin and yet you can't find it in Cubase. You can actually look at the file paths down here. So you can actually create... A new file path if you wanted to find say you've installed something and Cubase hasn't found it on startup which it usually does but sometimes it doesn't it can miss it so you can actually make your own file path there but that aside let's have a look at this so here's Cubase's default um, effects folders now if I click just this down icon here and I go new collection what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create an empty collection but what I'm going to do instead of completely M2 without any effects in there, I'm going to copy current collection as well. So I'm going to go new collection. So from the drop down, new collection and copy current collection. Now I'm going to call this, um, you can call it anything you like. So my effects. And there it is. So it looks exactly the same because I've copied the current collection. So this is my effects, I've called it. So what I want to do, because we're going to look at AmpSims next. I'm going to make a new folder and now I because I've created this now I've made these editable so you can see here I can click on this folder and make a new folder so what I'm going to do is just click on the folder make a new folder and I'll call this amp sims so what I'm going to do now I won't bore you by doing all of these but I'm going to take my amp simulators so you, I, this is one I'm going to look at to review so and I'm going to put it across into my amplifiers um, amplitude 3, I know that's an amp sim. Um, amplitude 4, that's an amp sim. What else have we got down here? I'll just do one more. Okay, here's another. That's an amp simulator. Now, if you're working on a project and you want to find an amp simulator very quickly, it's going to be much easier to find it if you've got all of them in one place. So, let me just come out of here and I'll show you what I mean. So now, we've got our audio track that we created. Now, if I go to inserts, can you see all of the stock ones there for the Cubase has created? But it's also got mine that I've created. So now under Amp Sim, I can click there, and there, there they are. There's the four we just dragged in, and I can click on one of those, double click on them, and it will load it up. So it's a way of really speeding it up. Now don't forget as well, you've also got that under Studio, VST Plugin Manager. You've also got that for VST Instruments. It works exactly the same way. It's just there for the instruments, and same with the file paths. So but say you've done something and you want to remove it then, you can certainly do that as well. So one way is if you wanted to remove the whole folder, you can delete the folder. Or if you've got a few different templates, so you're working on, say, a film or you're working on different projects, you can set them up. Or say there's two people perhaps using the using your Cubase, they might have their own system of working. You can set different, different ones up here. But you can also... Um, delete collections if you want so say i wanted to delete we just made this the my effects one so if i go to my effects and i wanted to delete that i can delete that collection 
and it will remove it and then it's restored it back so you can always go back to default so don't worry too much so it's, it's worth experimenting with but the defaults there so you can go back to that at any time okay i hope that helps